Hello, hello, I am Bridget Rowe. I am energy, I am powerful, and I am who I say I am. The purpose of this video is to talk about healthy oils, the right healthy oils to use, and how to choose the right healthy oil to use and cook and put on your salads at home, right? And this is just as important as when I talk about salts. You know how I talk about the white toxic salt that causes health issues in lieu of the salt with color or hue that has not been processed? It can work for you versus working against you. And so a lot of people don't talk about oils. You know, when I was coming up in my journey, I wrote in my book about oils um, because they really do matter. In my book, my book is entitled, for those who do not know, is entitled, He Who Has an Ear, Let Him Hear. It's my personal journey of becoming in the areas of mind, body, and soul, letting go of toxic thinking, toxic behavior, toxic eating. And so along my journey, I began to realize that the oils that I was used to, because grandma did it, you know, my mama did it, great grandma did it, everybody ahead did it. And so sometimes we are taught wrong. <laughs> and so I was in the process of reprogramming my thoughts and obtaining knowledge for my body to find out what could best work for me. So in my book, right here on page 127, I talk about cooking oils right here at the bottom for those of you that have the book. So I talk about the cooking oils. I talk about the virgin um, olive oil, hemp oil, canola oil up in here. Yeah, those are the three that I mentioned in my book. And I talk about the heating points of them. And I talk about the beneficial um, aspects from them. And I'm going to talk about that today on this video and expand on it just a little bit more. And so the reason why I, I, I want to talk about this is because if you are eating a snack, potato chip, if you ever went to a fast food place or a restaurant, you have consumed some type of toxic oil. <laughs> Nine times out of ten. So you want to create a healthy balance in your body and replenish your body with the healthy fats or the healthy oils that your body needs to avoid inflammation in your body. So you're going to get it. You have gotten it. Remember how I, I shared with you all the taco uh, night when I did that tofu meat that was processed and it was, it was vegan. Remember how I did those field burgers, you know, that was processed, but it was vegan. They use canola oil in processed vegan food. So even at a vegan level, you're getting that canola oil. You might be getting that sunflower oil, that corn oil, that soybean oil, you know, that peanut oil. You're getting it. You're getting oils that are not beneficial for you. And these oils can be causing unwanted inflammation in your body. And it is something that is a simple fix if you at home are giving yourself the right oils that are anti-inflammatory. You know, that are antioxidants, that help soothe any ailment, any man-made sickness or disease and harmony in the physical body has some type of inflammation about it. Let's think about it. Uh, irritable syndrome. That sounds like inflammation, right? So you're irritable, inflammation. So you want something that's anti-inflammatory instead of an oil that's going to keep you inflamed, right? Let's see, uh, high blood pressure inflammation pneumonia inflammation even a hernia inflammation whatever it is glaucoma inflammation <laughs> there's always going to be some swelling or inflammation involved in the process even in the healing process you know how things get worse before they get better so that inflammation is actually going to spike why am i telling you this because this is a time during the pandemic when everybody's trying to increase their frequency or increase their immunity and a lot of people are getting even more inflammation from doing that so it is so important now in that healing process of increasing your immune system you're going to get that inflammation so it is so important more than any other time if you're working on your body to be incorporating the right type of oil and to have the right type of oil at your house at your disposal everybody that know me already know that i consume uh coconut oil I consume coconut oil because I know already that coconut oil is an anti-inflammatory. Point blank period. 
So that means if you have arthritis, you have the gout, you have the high blood pressure, you have the irritable bowel syndrome, you have whatever you have that have inflammation, which is every sickness and disease or harmony or disharmony, it, you need some anti-inflammatory. And so coconut oil is good anti-inflammatory oil. It is good for lactic acid. It is good for that ur uratic acid. So basically that means it's good for those people that have kidney issues, right? It is antifungal, antimicrobial, antiparasitic, antiviral. Okay? And so when you're picking a coconut oil, you want to make sure that your coconut oil is unrefined. You want to make sure that it is cold pressed. You want to make sure that it is an extra virgin. And you want to make sure that it is organic. This is one that I buy in bulk. And it has all of those. All of those requirements. And so coconut oil alone also has a high pH balance about itself. Oils have a pH range too, you know. Everything has to have some type of balance, right? Potential hydrogen, right? So the balance of the coconut oil is about an 8.0, right? So that means it's alkaline. So I, in, I digest coconut oil some mornings, you know, because I know it's alkaline. I know it's anti-inflammatory, and I know all about the other properties of it and how it helps with that lactic and uretic acid, okay? Coconut oil is also good to put on your skin, but like I said, it has a high pH balance, so it has to be mixed with something else that's going to bring that pH balance down because the skin is not that high alkaline. It's, the skin is slightly acidic, but it has so many properties when you digest it that it help you with those internal sicknesses and diseases. So that's why I have that here. It is a virgin. So we are not gonna ever, ever cook with a virgin. We're not gonna put no fire into no virgin. Why would we heat up a virgin? The virgin can't handle that. This is how it's good for you to remember. Another virgin that, that, that uh, can't deal with the fire is gonna be the olive oil. I, I couldn't figure out the word, y'all. Yeah. And it is made from olives okay and so this is a delicate extra virgin oil also so we're not gonna be eating i mean we're not gonna be cooking with this here we're just gonna be eating this on top of maybe a salad or we're gonna be digesting this here on a spoon you know if we just have inflammation or if you have insomnia this is what you need right here because olive oil helps you sleep at night because it has so many um antioxidants you know it's like a mega antioxidant and so you want to pick the right type of oil. I got this particular one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got this particular one from Walmart. I went to Walmart to find this particular one to see what they had available. So it'll be easy for you to go and know where it is. So this one is available at Walmart. And so when you're looking for olive oil, if you don't use this particular one, you want to make sure that it is, first of all, not in a plastic container. You don't want nothing plastic because olive oils are so... Uh, rich you know then the makers of these oils are not gonna put it in no plastic container you know they have pride about <laughs> selling organic olive oil this oil is so beneficial you know so you want to make sure that it is in a glass container you want to make sure that it is extra virgin Nowadays, the olive oils, the back in the day, they didn't have this, but nowadays they have where it's U.S. organic stamp in um, non-GMO stamped on the back of it. But you also want to pay attention to the fact that it has been first cold pressed. First cold pressed, if you can see right here, it says first cold pressed. That means the olive has been pressed once. It wasn't processed. It was just pressed once to squeeze the juice out of it. That, that tells you uh, the quality of, of olives or quality of oil that you're dealing with by it being first cold pressed. That's a bonus there. Then you can also tell, you know, just by the presentation. You know, the presentation. So this is a glass bottle. It has organic. It has um, non-GMO. It, it says that it's first cold press. It says that it's extra virgin. Last thing, as far as um, vision is concerned, visibility is looking at the back of the bottle and seeing where this particular oil was made. And it tells you right here at the very back of the bottle, it'll tell you, they'll stamp it. 
See, when it's good oil, they'll put their name on it. <laughs> they'll put their name on it when it's really good. And this one here was made in Tunisia. Now, looking further, you would have to open it. You have to open it and you would have to smell it. And when I smelled this one here, it reminded me, remember I told you all that I came up in church and I played all them roles in church and I was the usher, the pastor, the sister, the fighter, the treasurer, the cam girl, all kind of stuff. But this here oil, when I smelled it, it reminded me of when I was a little girl and I would be the usher or the pastor's assistant and I would have to stand next to them in the healing and deliverance service and I would have the oil in my hand, you know, the oil in the cap. And so they would use the oil to, you know, to put the little cross on people's head, you know, when they was praying for them. And um, so basically at the end of the service, I would smell like olive oil. I had so much on my hand from constantly, you know, giving them a sample of oil to, you know, pray for the people in the prayer line, y'all. That's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, it brought back those memories. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, so, so the smell of it, the smell of the olive oil, you will know the quality of it there. Then when you put it like in a glass container, you'll see it shouldn't be clear. It should be green because olives are green. You see by color. And then when you taste it, when you taste it, like I say, it's anti-inflammatory. So it'll give you that soothing sensation in your body. You have an ulcer inside of that. Oh, if you have an ulcer, it's like it, 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 it'll bring that inflammation down. If you have irritable bowel syndrome, oh. It'll bring that inflammation down. You see what I'm saying? If you have arthritis, inflammation, and then it'll help you sleep. So you pay attention. You'll know based upon how you feel with it. After consuming it, you'll know if it's real. You know, you don't really have to always look outside. Sometimes you could just taste and see that God is good. You know? <laughs> so anyway, that's a good oil right there that's available at Walmart. Like I said... You do not cook with extra virgin olive oil. You do not cook with coconut oil. And I mean like sauteing something up too. You don't. You do not want these oils to run rancid. Why would you want to cook with something so precious, so beneficial? It's like you're taking its life force away from it. And you don't want to do that. You could save those type of oil, this type of oil for a salad. And like I said, you could just consume coconut oil when you choose on a spoon. Or something I do sometimes is I'll put the extra virgin coconut oil, like if I'm making a hot meal, like um, like a pasta, lasagna, or chickpeas, or something like that, those vegan meals that I showed, share with you all. I'll put the coconut oil on top of my hot food that's already hot, you know, when I put it on the plate, and allow it to melt on top of the food before I consume it. That's when, you know, you don't feel like having the the taste of the texture of the coconut oil in your mouth. But either way, I'm not gonna put fire into it. Then we have another precious or delicate oil, and this is hemp oil. Hemp oil is so delicate that it is, let me see if you can see it, there we go, that it is required to be in the refrigerator. I got this one here from Whole Foods store around the cold stuff where the vitamins are. I think this, the other thing that I saw in that cold section was why they keep the um, acidophilus. So anyway, this is hemp oil and this here helps with inflammation as well. This is what you, you can get um, with your healthy omega-3s. You get your magnesium from this and your um, olive oil because it's green your magnesium manganese your zinc things like that inside of these oils and these oils work for the body not against it the healthy fats the healthy fats in this oil as well are beneficial for your body they are not like the, the toxic um canolas and sunflower and um corn and peanut oils okay now this here oil is called walnut oil I honestly do not use this oil. I bought this oil because I was like, oh, we have walnut oil and walnuts are good for your brain. You know, walnuts look like a brain, so it's good for the brain. So that means if something's good for the brain, it's good for the whole body. <laughs> That's pretty much how it goes. Just like me being an Aryan, I'm a ram. The ram that represents the head, you know, they, that's what, what makes us leaders, you know, and we, we, we can balance out the whole body. We can lead people, you know, and so, it's no different from 
walnut or your brain center your um crown chakra so to speak walnut is good for the whole overall body because if your brain did just think about it this way if your brain did they ain't gonna give you another brain they gonna pull that plug on you that's it Kapoop, you're done so anyway it tastes okay i did use it on salads before the reason why i don't really use it nothing is wrong with this oil but the, don't really use it because it's a medium heat and i like to keep stuff simple i like to keep it simple and this is how i keep it simple this is simple for me okay i'm not gonna cook with these oils right here i'm gonna cook with this one oil <laughs> this is my high heating point oil these are my little delicate oils that i'm gonna use for my salad and you know in whatever if i'm just gonna consume a spoon of it in my mouth by itself and so i don't have like a middle oil so to speak walnut would be the middle oil but i don't i don't cook on medium you know i'm not watching no temps you know that i'm just not about to do it <laughs> so this is how i remember it and how i do it you know my high point eating oil you already know is my avocado oil and this is chosen food. And I talk about this oil all the time because it has a high temperature um, heating point. Now there is grapeseed oil. You can fry it with grapeseed oil too. It's beneficial for you as well. I just don't buy that oil. I just don't. I just get the avocado oil. I don't have nothing against grapeseed oil. There's also uh, beneficial sesame seed oil. But I get my sesame seeds in my shake season already. So... I shared that blend when I was doing the green peas on that video when we were making the red beans and rice and we had green peas and fried portobello mushrooms. Remember, I showed you all that particular season there. So high heating point oil right here, avocado, and it has um, a high amount of vitamin E inside of it also. It's a high heating point. I don't deal with no medium heating point, but if you do medium heat, Walnut is a good one, and then without any heat at all, it will be olive, hemp, and coconut. Now, those of you who have purchased my my products, you know that I use coconut, and I also use hemp oil inside a lot of hemp oil actually inside of my uh, bees body butter because these oils are beneficial inside of you internally and externally too they have ph balances about them though because the skin is um slightly acidic so you have to alter the oils if you put them on your skin to be beneficial for your skin you know to be at the skin balance you know and so i use these on my skin as well because of the vitamin e that i'll be getting from it because I want my skin to look hydrated and healthy and shiny, you know, and because of the vitamin D that you can, you go get inside of these oils. So they're really, really beneficial oils that we should be using in lieu of the oils that are available in those processed foods. And this is something else before I go, I want to share when I, being that I work in the food industry, when I first started shopping at the, um, at the little restaurant stores where you can get bulk food items from i was so excited about going in there because i had already been using avocado oil and i was like oh finally i'll be able to go there and um purchase bulk avocado oil and and i was excited about that i went to the store and i began to realize that <laughs> they don't sell bulk avocado oil in that particular store with all of these chains of restaurants and food trucks or whatever they go in and they get their orders from but they had plenty full of the toxic type oils that i shared with you earlier in this video now that bothered me because i said to myself as a new business owner i said you know what i don't want to do it i'm not going to serve the people no toxic oil if i can't find avocado oil in bulk in bulk i'm done and I was really serious about that because in my business, I want to share and serve with people food that I eat, food that's up to par to my standards, food that I can give to my children. I won't be, you know, in the back of the kitchen, hey, hey, don't eat none of those, don't eat none of the chickpea soup, don't, don't, don't eat those portobello mushrooms. No, uh -uh. they don't have the right kind of oil. They got cheap oil in there. I don't want to do that. I don't want to feel 
that I'm going the cheap route just to make a dollar. <laughs> just to make a dollar, but at the same time killing other people. Because like I say, I look at everybody as if myself. So I'm killing myself if I'm killing my people. And so to my surprise though, they have a lot of restaurants that purchase those oils. A lot of businesses purchase those oils. And I'm not trying to throw shade at them but because they could be the lack of knowledge. It could be that they're just on a journey they don't know just yet. Because everybody's at a different place in their journey. But I know better. And to know better for me is to do better for me. And so it could be another thing. It could be that they um doing it for a dollar. See, I'm not doing that for a dollar. I'm doing that for people. I'm doing that to teach and share, you know, and to help heal people, you know, that don't even know that something as simple as oil can be vexing their body, can be causing extra inflammation in their body. And so I had to go <laughs> look high and look low for avocado oil. I just was reminded of that song in church. I searched all over. Oh, couldn't find nobody. You remember that? I looked high and low. Still couldn't find no avocado. <laughs> but no oil is greater. <laughs> no oil is greater. Anyway, I'm getting the holy rolled up in here. Anyway, I had to search all over for this avocado oil. And I finally found it in bulk and was able to continue to serve you know the people like I wanted to serve the people and so I'm saying that to say you are getting <laughs> you are getting the toxic oils whether you know it or not but make sure that when you are at home and you, when you serving that food for your family and you putting all that love energy inside of that food and you putting all those good herbs and spices for the healing of the nature for the, of, the, of the nation make sure you also put in inside of it the oil the appropriate oil that needs to be in it at the right heating point that it needs to be on so it won't be running rancid and working against you versus for you is all I'm saying in this particular video so these are the oils high heating point avocado for salads high heating point I'm sorry for avocado or grapeseed oil for salads it will be the olive oil it will be the hemp oil or it will be the coconut oil gently melted on top if you do the medium thing babe go ahead on with your medium and, and get your little um sesame seed oil and get your little walnut oil if you're doing your little medium thing i just don't do the medium thing baby but whatever floats your boat roll with it this video was from my heart to yours be blessed